Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin and it is so weird to be sitting back in front of the camera, but I'm also so excited. I used to make some videos about interior decorating and organizing. I did a lot of home decor hauls because I have a major shopping issue. I have not made a video in literally years and I miss it so I want to get back I'm still decorating my apartment I'm still helping friends redo their rooms and so I want to film it again and just get back to what I love doing which is making videos so I'm so excited to be making the first one in years today I hope that you'll follow along and subscribe if you haven't already maybe I can make it to 500 subscribers that would be so amazing and so appreciated I'm so excited to jump in today's video it's the most wonderful time of the year I love the fall I love decorating for fall I love all the fall activities and so I have been very inspired and I've just been buying new things to make the apartment feel more cozy and warm and just like the perfect space for fall. I haven't done a major shop for new stuff this year, so I'm gonna kind of show you my fall collection. I'll let you know some of the stuff that I have bought this year and some of the things I bought a few years ago where I love getting my fall decor from and things like that. So I'm so excited to jump in and it honestly just feels like I never stop making videos. Hauls have always been my favorite thing to film, my favorite thing to watch, I've got all my stuff around me. I'm so excited to show you. I have my iced coffee. I've also been making the vanilla oat latte with the pumpkin whipped cream and cinnamon and oh my god, it's to die for. Let's just jump right in. I'm gonna be sharing again my fall decor collection as well as how I like to style for fall things I like to do around the apartment because I like a very specific aesthetic and I don't really love color but I am trying so that's also like a new exciting development that I've been trying to incorporate into the apartment as well okay, so before we jump into the collection I want to give a couple tips on how I decorate for the fall I store my fall or like seasonal decor away in bins. So when I'm replacing these items, I'll take something down, put that in the bin and then use the fall decor in the meantime and then swap it back out when it's time to put that seasonal decor away, which I also love because then it helps me refresh my space again. Even when I'm adding in the old pieces, it's like I'm buying them again and it's so much fun. I love rearranging and shopping the home. So switching out your seasonal decor is a great way to do that if that's something that you also like to do. switching like the pillow covers to like a brown, a nice brown throw blanket, something that goes with the time of year and that season is a way to refresh your space and something I'm constantly doing. With that being said, when I'm switching out my seasonal decor i still like to stick with the aesthetic that my apartment is and the theme which is still very neutral i have definitely incorporated a lot more brown not even just in the fall season but all year round brown is like one of my favorite colors which some people find so funny but i love brown and obviously it's such a trendy color i am still trying to add in more color to my apartment but i do gravitate towards neutral tone so you'll see that in the hall as well i love decorating with pumpkins they just have so many good options now like different textures my favorite are these pillow pumpkins i've got this big white one and then this hopey color um so these were from both from home sense and i did get them a few years ago or a couple years ago um but they still have them to this day 
and they're so popular and can be used in so many different ways. Some people use them for like actual pillows, which I find so cute. But yeah, I just have these like two big um, like boucle ones that I love and I'm pretty sure they were both under like $20. I also have these knitted ones, which Oh, we got them off a seller on Facebook Marketplace who made these and these are also very popular now with people having lots of different other options. I also have this brown one. It doesn't have the best shape, but the color is everything. So I think maybe like uh, I might replace these at some point and just get like more of these ones in kind of other colors. But these are like my only, I have the brown and then this like beige one and they're just the cutest little things I've ever seen. And honestly, if you're good at knitting, what a good DIY project, but I just could not do that. But I love decorating with these. These could also be like vase fillers or you can just put them on a shelf. They're so cute and they go so well with the other decor in my apartment. And so when you're putting things that still match your theme and your color scheme, they just seamlessly add into your space by adding that cozy element love those this is something that i got this year i actually found this at the dollar store but it's this super cute vase i'm not really obsessed with the burlap theme but these little pumpkins inside were literally the cutest thing all in all it's not too bad i think the burlap is actually kind of cute in this case just because like the play on textures but i just thought this was so cute and from the dollar store i couldn't believe it i took the tag off but i think it was like four dollars you can put this like even in a bathroom as like a touch of fall i've just had it on top of my mantle and i'll show you guys how i've been styling everything but i just thought this was the cutest thing and the colors are perfect this year something that i thought i would try is also from the dollar store i picked up some like pine cones um so i'm not really sure how this is gonna go i mean i have a cat and i think that he's just gonna play with them but i thought these could be really cute as like a vase filler i have a lot of bowls like paper mache bowls and things like that and so it could be cute to kind of um make them more fall give them a little fall touch with these these actually smell pretty good oh they're scented pine cones i did not even read that cinnamon so also like kind of a fun way to incorporate false scents into your place without candles so we'll go ahead and see how i style these at some point but i thought i just have a million bowls that i could fill these in and i've never had pine cones in the apartment before so <laughs> we'll see speaking of candles they are one of my favorite things to purchase i love candles especially fall scented candles like anything like vanilla pumpkin cinnamon any of those like sweet smelling like cashmere candles i do not hesitate to buy them it's actually an issue so i have quite a few like fall candles but i'll show you my some of my most favorites so this is one that i got this year from longos actually or what do they call it um president's choice like superstore canadian real the real canadian superstore so it was so cheap like i want to say it was like 12 dollars. oh yeah it says loblaws it smells so good it's like vanilla cashmere or something and i just love things that like have lit and usually when i light it i'll just lean this up against the side and it's so cute. I honestly want to go back and get more. And then a couple years ago, I got this one from HomeSense, which I actually haven't burned yet. I have, I call it candle anxiety, um, where when I get like a really nice candle, it doesn't even have to be expensive. Like when I get a really nice candle, I don't want to burn it because I don't want it to end, especially when they're in like cute jars like this, which I'm trying to tell myself like if you really cared you can refill it and also you're not even opening the lid right now so even if you were to burn through this amazing candle you, in the years to follow you can just keep the lid on like you've been doing so i really need to get over it because what a cute candle and it's huge it's so it's the size of my head and it was only 30 dollars i've been really good and i haven't really stepped foot in a home sense this fall season i did like a small trip to the states where we went to target um and home goods for like a quick sec and so i did do 
Like I got a couple things there, but here at home, I have not stepped into a home since because I'm scared for my wallet, but I know that they're probably still having, selling things like this. So you can probably find one um, if you were on the hunt for that. But yeah, home scents, home goods, so good for candles. And then speaking of home goods, when we did do that little um, buffalo trip, I got this little ghost candle, which was $12.99 US. I'm in Canada. Anyway, this candle smells amazing. It's more of like a firewoody kind of smell rather than like a sweet smell. And I just keep it in my hallway near um, the bathroom. And like when you pass by, you get a whiff of it and it's so, it's just like the epitome of fall and it smells so good. So honestly, I can't see myself burning this one either. It's that candle anxiety. I don't know, absolutely love this little guy and he smells so good and he was so cheap so it's by that sand and fog company so one that home sense sells a lot and i did also get this candle from target as well they had some like short brown ones and then these like tall beige uh jars and they smell so good i have it burning all the time and we're doing another trip to buffalo next week so i'll probably get the shorter brown candle, but last time I just picked up this one. So I got this one from Michaels, and I saw this year they have a different version of it, but this, this is a pillow. I have to fix him, he got like a little ripped. Also that like boucle fabric, and my friend when we were at Target, she got a cat pillow like this. They're definitely still selling these, still trendy. And again, I just love how it's like in that nice white color. It just like matches into our living room so well. And it's not something that's like so Halloween where you're like, okay, you're decorating for Halloween. Like, no, this is just like cutesy, okay? And it just matches the decor so perfect. I love him. Then because I am obsessed, I have so many other like pumpkin items. One of my faves is I found these like, so one is tall and then one is short, but there's this like little bunt cake store called Nothing Bunt Cakes. And I literally found these. I was getting, it was Thanksgiving a couple years ago and I was getting bunt cakes and they had these. They were kind of expensive. Like I want to say this one was probably 30 to 50. And then I don't know, this probably was like 20 to 30. The prices aren't there anymore, but I had to have them. They were so cute and I used them to decorate the Thanksgiving scape that year. So I think I had a TikTok. I think I had a TikTok about that. So maybe I'll post it here if I can see how I styled it, but it was super cute and I really liked that I picked those up. Then to stick with the clear pumpkin theme, I also got this like jar. This was from Facebook Marketplace. It was $30. I just keep coffee in it, um, or like my Nespresso pods. But these, this is so cute. And you can also put like candy in it and everything, but I tried that one year and I didn't like how you could see all the, the wrappers. But this was so cute and I couldn't believe that I found it on Facebook. So next I actually wanted to show you these super cute pumpkin bowls. I got these from HomeSense. These ones I've also had for a couple of years. But I love eating like cinnamon toast crunch <laughs> out of these or soup. But they're so cute and fun to put out during that time. And then I also have the two mugs. So I did get them on separate occasions. This one's more of like a matte and these are more glossy, but I love having these kinds of things around for just to add like a little bit of spice in the season, make it more fun. Then speaking of soup, on our most recent trip to Target, I picked up two of these I don't know, are these called crocs? I'm not really sure. This little like crock pot for soup and I just made sausage and potato and kale soup and had it out of this and I just felt so festive and I just think these are the cutest little things. I picked up two of those and I'm pretty sure they were like five bucks each, again US, but still. And I think they're so cute, I love them. Then also for like serving wear, 
I couldn't resist this little ghost platter from Michaels. I wanna say this was like $25, but they usually have that coupon that you can use. So I could not resist, he's so cute. And I'm having some girlfriends over for like a Halloween night, which I'm gonna take you along like how I set up and decorate for that. But I mainly had that night in uh, mind when I picked this up. So I'm excited to like put cookies on him or whatever, but I thought he was adorable. Then because I just love the little ghost mo modus, motifs, um, I had picked up this tray a few years ago from HomeSense for $13. And actually what had inspired me as well is I saw that Pottery Barn had a really cute tray like this, different but like similar. And they're obviously Pottery Barn is super expensive and I was not interested in spending that on a tray that was only gonna sit out for like a couple months or a month. Anyway, as soon as I saw this at home since I had to pick it up, and then my friend actually told me just yesterday that she picked up the one that looks identical to the Pottery Barn one at HomeSense. So I know that they're still making them and you can probably go find yourself a little ghosty tray if you want it or like the one from Pottery Barn. There are still dupes out there. Then also from that trip when we went to Home Goods, I picked up this little guy. I thought he was super cute. So I do like decorating for Halloween as well, but just like very subtle. Um, and still again, like in our regular color palette. So I'm personally not out here putting up like orange stuff, um, which is fine if you like that. But I am definitely more of like the white or black, like ghosts and pumpkins. So I thought this was perfect to add a touch of like that spooky, but still being so cute. <laughs> and then speaking of spooky cute, I love decorating my console table with candles like near my TV, actually inspired by, I'll put her Instagram name, she also puts like candles there and I absolutely loved how cozy it was. And so when I saw these at Ikea last year, I picked up so many and actually I could only find this one, but I know I kept all the other ones because again, candle anxiety, even though this would be the most easy DIY ever just to do on regular candles closer to Halloween or even like now would be a good time because I've had my place decorated since August but now that we're actually in October I think it's cute to like put out the ghost pillow and like the ghost stuff now it makes more sense closer to Halloween I absolutely love these candles I hope they sell them this year gosh I totally forgot what to talk about the branches. This is honestly one of my favorite things that I've bought this year, but I got these branches off Amazon and they still didn't even really look like the photo, but I am so obsessed with them. I feel like it makes the whole entryway and I really now cannot see myself not having branches here. Like even in the other months, I think I'm gonna need to have some big greenery here. So I'm really obsessed with that and yeah, Amazon and they were like 30 bucks. I from the dollar store found these little itty bitty boucle pumpkins. They have clips on them and originally I thought these could be so cute for your Thanksgiving tablescape, like clipping them to a napkin. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that now. So honestly, I'm not the most sure what to do with these, but even just thrown in a bowl could be so cute. I just could not resist. They had a few other colors like green and white and I would have got the white ones as well, but there was only one pack and so, I don't know, I didn't get them. Kind of regretting it. I feel like if I'm back at the dollar store, then I might get more white pumpkins. But I thought those were adorable. And then decorating more Halloween vibes closer to Halloween is I got, I picked up off the side of the road this ugly fireplace. I got this like witch's broom, which I'm actually gonna cut like way shorter. Like I think I'm probably just gonna cut it so it's like this because it's way too long. And then I just wanted to prop this up against the fireplace. I just thought this was like such a cute Halloween fun touch but still again playing with our color palette. So that's everything that I kind of have for my collection and everything that I've put out 
year after year, as well as like some of the new things that I bought this year. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm so happy to be back. So please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me and I really appreciate your support and hope that I can continue making these videos and I will see you next time.